The Amazing Life of My Grandfather My grandfather was born in 1948 in Taiwan. His mother worked very hard pushing carts full of food to sell. Every time she came home with the money, my grandfather's dad would steal the money and use it for gambling. He always stole the money and they got and used it thinking that he would win lots of money. He usually lost, so they were very poor and had to live on the street. A very generous person said that my grandfather and his family could live in their kitchen because they didn't use that kitchen anymore. Not too long after, they lived on the farm. The other kids who also lived on the farm would make fun of my grandfather because he was blind. Made him ma this made them mad, so at midnight, he would set traps for those mean kids. He tied strings across a trail to trip the kids as they walked to school. Sometimes my grandfather and his friends would go to other people's farms and steal the farmer's fruit, but, the f but usually the farmers would notice. When the farmer noticed, all my grandfather's friends would run as fast as they could and would escape. But my grandfather couldn't see, so he always got caught and got in trouble. During that time, my grandfather was around three or four years old when he got a sickness called polio. While he was sick, he, he turned blind and couldn't walk. His mom had to carry him a long way to the hospital. When she finally got him to the hospital, it took a long time for the doctor to fix the disease. When he was better, he was able to, he was able to walk, but he couldn't see. One day, my mom, his mom found a school for blind kids and, and for kids who couldn't hear. My grandfather loved to read books, so one of his friends would read books to him while he wrote the story in Braille. The kids who couldn't hear always teased the blind kids, and the blind kids set all sorts of traps at midnight to get back at them. It was just like two countries fighting each other. One day... While my grandfather was walking home, a fortune teller told my grandfather's parents that in the future, my grandfather would have a big company and have several houses and his family would all depend on him. When they heard that, they couldn't believe them, what the man told them. This is a picture of my grandfather and grandmother together. This is my grandfather with the mare. When my grandfather grew up, he did have a big company, several houses, and his family did depend on him. My grandfather now says that he feels lucky, so, feels so lucky that he wasn't born blind. Otherwise, his condition could have been passed down, and my family and I would all be blind too. He also says that he was lucky to turn blind when he, he was little, because it was easier for him to get used to it. He says that it was much harder for my grandmother, who went blind when she was 17. She already knew what the world looked like, and she missed it more. Being blind didn't slow him down, because he could still do everything.